Hi guys, it's Shami from Crafts, Names, and Things. So we're going to do some more jelly printing. But as I said, I'm going to break them up into sections. So this will be the second video in my series. But um, I know that um, making jelly prints on um, jelly paper is super, super popular. But um, I don't have the money right now to get a huge box of jelly paper. So I was thinking, well, what can I use that kind of has the same texture that's kind of translucent? And I came up with something that I want to share with you. So I don't know if you know what this is, but it's translucent drawing paper that you can get from the dollar store. It comes with 30 sheets and um, it is a dollar. And it comes in a pad, um, you know, 8 by 11, standard size. But it kind of has the same texture as um, jelly paper. So I thought, well, I can use that, you know, um, just to kind of get the same effect. And the good thing is that it will blend into a background. Um, you know, if I decide to cut out certain things um, from the jelly paint or do collage. And, um, and it's just really translucent and beautiful. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to, I'm just going to use a bunch of stencils and stickers and all sorts of stuff. I am going to use my um, tempura paints that I got from the thrift store for super cheap. And um, we're just going to kind of have some fun and we're going to make some prints um, with this um, transparency or drawing paper. Yeah, that you can get at in, or tracing paper that's what it's called tracing paper um, that you can get at any dollar store that kind of has the same texture as um, deli paper okay so I just have my setup here um, I did a video before so I didn't clean off my jelly plate but do make sure that you do that I think it's pretty important so I'm going to add some paint so I just do a couple of drops of paint here and this one I am going to talk through um, just because I kind of feel like it <laughs> so um, and it's not going to be a long video it'll probably only be 10 to 12 minutes okay so you won't have to so I'm going to do blue and purple which I love it's like my favorite thing let me put this down okay and for some reason, this sprayer doesn't like to move when there's too much paint, so I should... Yeah, I don't know what's why it doesn't move the way that I want it to sometimes. See how it gets kind of stuck? But, but it works fine on paper, so I don't know. I'm probably not using it right. Maybe you have to do something special, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's all right with me. It's all good. Okay, I'm just going to move the excess paint. And I think that I'm going to use a stencil. So I got this one on clearance at um, Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to use that one. And then I'm going to use some handmade stuff that I have too. Um, maybe I'll use... Oh, kind of maybe I'll just do some bubble wrap. Which I love bubble wrap. I save all my packages and I use it so much. And it creates such beautiful texture. And then I make sure that I put it on here so I don't waste any paint. Okay, and then I'll just take my first sheet of translucent paper, or tracing paper, and I'll just spray it over it. And I can't wait to show you how it turns out. It turns out really cool. Look at how awesome that is, and it's the same exact texture, texture of jelly paper. Okay, but it's just tracing paper. It's much much cheaper. Okay, and then turn this over. I need a bigger table for this when I'm doing jelly print prints. I think. And you probably wouldn't be, but I'm kind of crazy about using that paint, so <laughs> so probably really doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick up whatever's left on my jelly plate. So I'll put down another sheet, and I'll just do a couple more with you, and we can kind of hang out and chat a little bit. And I am going to include these in Happy Mills that I send out. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Just gorgeous. Who would love to get that in a piece of Happy Mill or something? Okay. Very cool. All right, so let's do another one. This time we're going to do some stamps. So I have some stamps here. Um, and I'm going to probably use a doily too. Okay, so those are the two that I'm going to use. 
Alrighty. But I hope you guys are doing good. Um, it finally stopped snowing in Colorado, but we usually always get one more snowstorm before um, Easter. So either it's on Easter or it's before, and then it'll start be getting like ridiculously hot here. I remember when I was like a little girl, like it never got as hot as it does now. Like it was always cool in Colorado, but now it's just ridiculously hot. So. What can you do? I shouldn't complain because I complain when it's too cold and I complain when it's too hot. I just should be grateful for any weather that we get. Sometimes, but, yeah. but I really don't like to be hot. I'd rather be cold than hot. Just, yeah. Am I crazy? But yeah, because I always think, okay, I can get warm, but I can't get, you know, it's hard to get. Let me turn this over. But it's hard to get cold when you're really, really hot. Okay, and I have trouble sleeping if it's too hot. So I'm just going to take my stamp. Okay, and I'm just going to go all over the jelly print with the foam stamp. And these are actually um, stamps that you use for um, cake baking for the fondant. Um, but they were on sale. I saw them on clearance at the thrift store, so I decided to pick them up. Okay. Yep, cool. And I have to get a new under paper or scrap piece of paper for underneath my work because this is getting totally full of stuff. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take another piece here. And I don't use my really fancy um, st uh, stamps in um, in jelly curtain or even with paint because, yeah, I just don't like them cl cleaning them up because I'm lazy. So um, I just use foam stickers um, because I can just clean those out or you don't have to. So look how pretty that one is. Gorgeous. I love it so much. And this one probably doesn't isn't going to get much of anything up, but I just want to see if it does. A little bit, so let's make another one. And then maybe I'll be quiet. Because <laughs> I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. So we'll do two, three. There we go. But it is beautiful in the summer in Colorado, so... I really shouldn't be complaining. I'll get to go hiking and do some fun stuff, so that'll be cool. And there's so much to do. Like I love going to different cultures of festivals, so I like go to the Asian festival and the Greek festival, and it's so much fun. So you get to see dances and have delicious food. I love the Greek festival because they have delicious calamari. <laughs> in the Asian one too because it's really good food but they have this um, Asian boat festival that I go to every year so I am totally looking forward to that that's going to be pretty darn awesome that's cool I'm just bring that over and kind of pull my brayer off get rid of some of that paint okay and let's do the doily okay I haven't done the doily before so we'll just kind of Push it down. I think it's probably the best way to do it so that we get that impression. There we go. And I'm probably going to have a fingerprint in there, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I can kind of probably want to use my brayer more than anything. And this is just a white one. Um, yeah, because it didn't really make an impression up here at the top. So I'm going to just go over that a little bit. I got this one at Michael's, this doily, um, just because I have some really pretty ones. I found some gorgeous ones at a yard sale, but they're really gorgeous, so I wouldn't even use those for, for jelly printing. So I just got this at Michael's, and it was $1.50, so I'm happy with that. I looked at the thrift stores, but they don't really have a lot. I think people are totally on the doily train, you know, with junk journals and that kind of stuff. But look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Okay, we'll do one more and then you won't have to listen to me talk anymore. I think I'll do, uh, or actually maybe two more. I lied, sorry. <laughs> so let's do two here. Let's do some blue. 
But I love this tempura paints. They're working out awesome. What a wonderful thing. I am so glad that I bought them. And now I wish that I would have bought like everything that they had. It's like, wow, how awesome. I love when things, you know, you think things will work and then they actually do. It's just fabulous. So. I'm going to just go over my scrap piece of paper here just to get, make sure that I use up that paint. I do not like to waste paint. Okay, so we'll do this one here. Okay, perfect. And then, which one was I thinking? Maybe we'll do, because sometimes I think it's good when you can kind of tear them up and use just sections of them if you'd like. So maybe, sorry, I'm just looking for another stencil or another something that I can use. Um, well, when in doubt, use the bubble wrap. Or actually, you know what I'll do is I'll make circles. Because I love the circles. Okay, so I just have some bobble caps here. I just save them. And very gently, I'm just going to make scrapes. But not. I'm not actually scraping the jelly plate. I'm just making circles. So I'm making imprints in there. And you want to be... A lot delicate with this okay and I see that my paint's drying up so I want to be careful I'll just do that okay. take that all right so see look how pretty that one turned out so I love that one. That'll be an awesome thing to send to someone. And it looks like I didn't grab any more paper. Well, I have to use regular paper to pick this up. Okay, and then I'm just going to turn it right back over because I still have a little bit of paint on that stencil, and I'm going to go right over it, just like that. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. So let me just show you the sheets that we made. So look at how pretty these are. And you can collage them. They dry super fast and send them in Happy Mail. And this one's just gorgeous with the blue and the purple. So look at how pretty that is. It has a beautiful texture and it would be beautiful in collaging. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and share this idea. I mean, a lot, you know, some of us don't have money to go buy deli paper, you know, so this is a great way to kind of faux deli paper kind of thing that you can um, do to make jelly paper. So um, if you know someone that would like this idea, please share it with them. And I will see you guys next time. And I will have a ton more jelly print videos because I have tons of ideas. So um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.